Hello and welcome to another life support tutorial. Um, this one's going to be about water and that stuff because it's cool. Oh, and oxygen because they're not that complicated subjects of subjects. Um, right, so water heater. No, no, I just have the water heater. That doesn't make sense. Water pump. Right, so a water pump. Um, what it is is it takes energy and it produces water. So if you just, I'm just going to get a wind turbine here because these are really easy to use. And then we will link some stuff together, and then we're going to get a water storage device because we want to store our water somewhere. So if you get like this large thing, you'll notice it stores a crap load of water, which is good, because we need a crap load of water. No, we don't, actually. Now, water is only useful under the following circumstances. You are inside a magma planet or some other area where it's really hot. Otherwise, you do not need any. Um... So as you look here, the water is just being produced at about 460 per second, I think is about what it works out to. Um, and it doesn't really take that much power, which is nice. Um, you can also overdrive it, and it'll take a lot more power and produce a lot more. It's, I believe that's about 1400 per second it's producing on overdrive, which is pretty good. Um, however, overdrive can damage the generator. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's really a lot of water. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about water later when we talk about hydrogen and some other fancy, fancy devices. But for now, I'm just going to talk about, um, uh, oxygen. Right, because that's the other half of this tutorial. So oxygen is pretty much generated in the same way. Um, you need to be inside a planet to generate oxygen. Um, because otherwise, you know, there's no oxygen. Um, you're inside a planet that has oxygen on it, not just any planet. Um, so, if you link up the generator and the thing, and then you turn this on, you'll see we produce oxygen. That's all there is to producing oxygen. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, it's just easy. Now, the water tank. Um, you will often end up with way too much water. You do consume it rather quickly if you're inside a magma plant or something, but you don't really use it very often. Sometimes I don't even include water on my ships at all, because... I don't find a magma plant. Even if I do, it's not for very long. So I'm usually just fine if I just sort of swoop in, because you do get the default, like, 40 seconds of um, coolant. So that's pretty much... That's pretty easy. Mm. Wow. wow. Alright. Yeah, that's a fish throw. It's a pretty simple one. There isn't a whole lot to producing water and oxygen, but... Yeah, sorry, excuse me. Um, but there it is. Alright, so anyway... Oh, right, you can also overdrive these. And they'll produce a lot more. It's not nearly as I think it's like 900 per second. It's not nearly as much as this thing produces. And normally it produces a lot less too. It normally produces eh, like 200 ish. Um, we see them produces about 460, which is over twice as much. And then when you overdrive it, it's not qu over twice as much, but it is you know a good 500 more. Um, couple with the fact that you need oxygen a lot more, you know. Alright, anyway, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.